I'm Chris Stanbury from Casio UK, and I'm here at Gear for Music to show you the CDP S100 digital piano. The CDP S100 is ideal for beginners because it has a fantastic keyboard action, which encourages the right expression and the right technique right from the start. When Casio were developing this particular product, we spoke to many, many piano teachers, and overwhelmingly, the subject that kept coming up was you've got to get the key action right, the key feel, because it's really important. So you'll find the key action on the CDPS 100 very, very nice to play. Uh, it encourages proper finger technique. Obviously, you know, it's touch sensitive, but we go further than that as well, because there are some features with the keys that you wouldn't normally expect on uh, perhaps a beginning piano. So for example, the, the key textures themselves are ebony and ivory simulated textures. So they feel a lot nicer to play. It feels a lot closer to an acoustic piano. And you don't normally get that on a beginner's piano. There's also a brand new key action used in this instrument, uh, which we call scaled hammer action. And just like an acoustic piano, the keys at the top are slightly lighter than the keys at the lower end. Why is that important? Well, because students need to develop the right techniques. If they're going to you know, play on other instruments, other pianos, whether it's at school, at college, uh, or for an examination or something like that, we need to make sure that the instrument they've got here at home is suitable for that job. There are lots of other features on the CDPS 100 that make it ideal for, for learning. It's a very compact instrument and it will fit pretty much wherever you want to learn to play music. So that might be a bedroom, it might be a, a small room uh, at home, it could be a little studio. Um, you'll find that because it's so small, it can, you can pretty much take it anywhere. And also it's battery powered. So you don't need to be anywhere with a plug even. You know, you literally can take this piano everywhere. So it doesn't matter if you've got a huge room or even just a tiny second bedroom that you've got set aside for music. You'll find this fits really nicely. It's really easy to use as well. All the functions and all the sounds you can find straight away. They're all printed above the keys on the instrument. Um, so there's no need to delve into the manual whenever you want to you know, for example, change a sound or that sort of thing. And there are some really helpful features too. So there's a built-in metronome, which is really good for learning if you want to practice something slowly or at a set speed. And we've also got a USB connection on the back. Now the USB connection opens up a huge world of possibilities because we can then actually plug this instrument into a smartphone or a computer and there are loads of things, of course, you can do with, with that. You can access online music lessons. You can record your playing, and put it into some music software. Um, or you can, of course, use this instrument as a controller for um, desktop music and, and you know, working with music software. There are lots of benefits to having a digital piano. First and foremost, they don't go out of tune. So there's no expense every couple of months to obviously get a piano tuner in. Um, it's always going to be at the right pitch. The other main benefit is that you can plug headphones into it. So if you have the piano set up in a family room or if you live in a, in a flat where perhaps you don't want to make as much noise as an acoustic piano would, these are ideal because of course you can play for as long as you like at whatever time of day or night. So the Cordana Play Piano app is a free app from Casio. It runs on iOS or Android devices. And you can run it on a smartphone or on a tablet. And it gives you a variety of different functions. So you have a piano remote controller where you can see all the settings uh, on the piano actually on the screen of your tablet. It makes it much easier to change the settings and navigate around. You've also got uh, a lessons function so you can learn any of the built-in 50 songs, um, either by looking at a musical score, or you can use what we call the piano roll, which is where all the notes of the song scroll down the screen, 
and at the bottom of the screen you'll see a piano and obviously when the notes hit the piano that's the time to play the key. It's a great fun way of learning to play new pieces.